Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this. Now today we are back for another video on the channel. Now today it is more League One content. Now we've done loads of predictions, we've done loads of ranking videos. Now today is no different. We are ranking my top 10 strikers in Skybet League One. There's some so many prolific strikers. There's so many good strikers that can hold the ball up, that can do so many other things other than score goals. Been prolific at all areas, really. So it is a good list. I have narrowed it down from about 25 strikers in League One to 10. Bear with me. Let me know your favourite 10 in the comments down below. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. We're trying to hit 6,000 subscribers and I need your help. Subscribe down below. Let's get on with the video. Now at 10, I've gone for someone a little bit different. I've gone for Cameron Jerome of MK Dons. Now, a bit of a late signing, came in with a few games gone. 10 games through him, 4 goals. Some of his goals have been magnificent. Scored against Barney in the FA Cup today, or, or yesterday as you'll be seeing this video. Again, good header against Sunderland, which was a beauty of a goal, which won them 3 points. Four goals, one assist this season. He also scored 42 goals in 138 for Norwich. So it just shows he's been prolific at uh, a load of different clubs as well. And he's still got it. He's a bit of an older striker now, but he's still prolific in the EFL. And he's been doing a good job for MK Dons, who don't score many. Cameron Jerome, 10th in my list. At nine is a player that scored against Fleetwood just a couple of weeks ago. Luke Jeffcott. Now, again, six goals to his name this year. 15 goals in 36 appearances. And he's his only club from the far guy. He's still a young lad. He grew up on the under-18s, the under-21s there. So he's really coming through the ranks under Ryan Lowe, playing some good football. He's their top goal scorer this year. He looked a real threat when we beat them 5-1. Scored a good header as a consolation. Still a good young striker. Will only get better. But that record... 15 and 36. He's averaging what a goal every two and a half games, pretty much. If he carries on that, it'll be a 15, 16 goal season striker in League One. Eighth, I've gone for Josh McGinnis. Now, Josh McGinnis, five goals to assist this season. He also scored 20 goals in 88 appearances for Charlton. One of those came against Fleet just a few years ago. A really good goal that day. Again, good striker. He makes good runs in behind. He's um, he holds the ball up well. He shields it. He's quick in behind. He he's very deadly in front of goal. So again, another striker that Charlton have got that are good. They've also got Washington and Chucks and EK that haven't made it into this list. But again, he's a good player, a good strike, and will really help Charlton get promoted this season, in my opinion. At seventh, a striker again. A more old-fashioned striker, a more experienced striker, a bit like Paddy Madden himself. I've gone for Matty Taylor. Now, he signed on loan for Oxford last year. He got 17 goals. Again, good season striker. He scored, 50, he scored 22 goals now in 52 appearances. He's signing a permanent in the summer. He's got five goals this season in the struggling Oxford side. So, he is a goal scorer. Again, one in every two and a half games. He really knows where the back of the net is. He's done it at many different clubs. Bristol Rovers, Bristol City. I know obviously those two clubs won't like that. But again, good striker. Been good for Oxford and fired them into the playoffs last year. Got a goal in the playoff final. Unfortunately, they didn't go up for them. But again, good striker at this level. He finds himself seventh in my list. At sixth, in my opinion, this lad has the potential to go and be the best striker in League One, in my opinion. The next Ivan Tony. Joe Piggott. Now, I remember when he scored against us two years ago, he scored the win in a 1 0 win at Highbury, and he looked so, so good that season. He scored a lot of goals. This season, he's played 14 games. He scored six, he's assisted four. 10, go 10 goals contributions altogether. Wimbledon has scored 16. He's got over half of that. So, that just shows you everything, what it means to them. Again, 39 goals in 122 since signing from Maidstone, a 1 in 3 pretty much every game. So, guarantee you the 15 goals for Wimbledon. Imagine if it was in like a Peterborough or a Portsmouth who did score more goals than Wimbledon. But again, he's had his chance there. He's flourished and he makes it onto my list. Sixth. I think if we did this late on in the season, he'd be a lot higher. Fifth. Now, if you may notice, these are all centre forwards. Now, the likes of Ronan Curtis, Marcus Harness, those types of players haven't made it into the list. 
But this this lad has played up front a lot of times, and he played up front against Fleetwood this year. Malik Wilkes, now a good striker, six goals this season. Again, he's won in every four or five games for Hull. He really is a danger. He assists goals. He did well at Doncaster a few years ago. He's very good in League One. He's a threat. He holds the ball up. He's fast. He's strong. He's very powerful. So, a, a danger in League One. He can play in numerous different positions. He's what you want in a striker. Scores goals and could help Hull get promoted this year. Malik Wilkes, you're fifth, you're fifth in my list. At fourth, I've gone for Johnson Clark Harris. Now, seven goals this season, two are penalties, but again, still a prolific goal scorer. He's a one in every two games. Bristol Rovers, 27 goals in 52. Again, less than one in every two games. So, if you have a striker that can do that, that's a 20 25 goal season striker. He scores all different types of goals, and I think he's a striker that Peterborough need in the box. We've got some very good other players. We'll come on to that in a bit. But. Again, good striker, really like him, and it's just good that he's found a home at his last two clubs and he's finally starting to score goals wherever he's been now. At three now, people may call me ba uh, biased, but I've gone for Paddy Maddy now. Four goals, two assists in 13 games this year. Again, a decent return. He's, he's come off the bench in a few of them as well. 60 goals in 196 at Scunthorpe United. 49 goals at Fleetwood. It just shows you how good he is. And again, he's got over 100 EFL goals. He's the man's a machine. He really is. And he just scores goals at every level that he's been at, really. He's got some important goals in the championship. To get, he got Yeovil promoted. And without him, I don't know where Fleetwood would have been in the last few years. He's been the top goal scorer for us. Um, getting 17 and 19, respectively. Very good striker. It works hard for the cause. And I think he'd fit into most League One sides, if not all of them. Paddy Madden, third in my list. At second, I've gone for an all-round striker. Shariki Dembele. We said we got on to Peterborough in a bit, and that's what we've done. 13 games, 5 goals, 4 assists. What a return for that man now. 19 goals in 93 games. He has come off the bench in a lot of games. He has played out wide in a lot of games, but his predominant position is a centre forward. He will only get better. He's massively improved this year, in my opinion. Now he's got used to the level, obviously, he came from League Two. Quick striker, fast, versatile, can run the channels. He's everything you want in a striker. Still very young and the recruitment policy at Peterborough over the years has been magnificent what they've done. They've had obviously Boyd, Gale and now Tony. Now they've got a load of good strikers up front. Elsa, Dembele, Clark, Clark Harris. And it's unbelievable talent that they've got. Can they get promoted this year? Dembele, second in my list. But who's number one? Number one, it's got to be John Marquis. Nine goals this season in 14. He's the League One top goal scorer just in front of Callum Camp. Two assists as well. 25 goals in 68 games. Again, under that one in every two and a half games, which is a very good record. 153 games at Doncaster, 67 goals. Again, a very good record. Just over two, again, just under one in every two games. Prolific. Tall striker, can hold the ball up. And again, he didn't really work out from last year at Portland, I think. But this year, he's flourishing, scoring goals. And as it stands, he's on for about a 30-goal season striker. And if he carries on in that record, I think Portsmouth could finally get promoted this year. So there are my top 10. Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments down below. Very interesting list. I obviously did have a lot of names that I didn't put on. Obviously, like likes of Kane Hemmings. Who was in there who didn't quite make the least? Tom Eves, Chet Evans, these types of strikers, Jerry Yates as well. These types of strikers that are good, but these are my top 10. Let me know if you agree and who would you put in your top 10. Please subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're trying desperately to hit 6,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Until next time, I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Up the cods.